Hi there, it's Kevin Ward, the founder of Yes Masters Real Estate Success Training, helping you get more yeses and more successes in your business and in your life. And today I wanna to talk about the sh shocking truth about how do you get more listings signed at the actual listing appointment. It's one of the questions that I hear over and over from agents is they're like, I go and I do the listing presentation and they say, we got it, we like you, you're our agent, but we're not ready to sign today. Or they just say we need to think about it and they're not ready to sign today. You just and you and, and no matter how many objection handlers you pull out of your hat, and no matter what you do, you just can't break through. And I am gonna share with you today the reason that happens, and some of you are not gonna like the answer. And you gotta decide: am I willing to change how I approach my business in order to change the results that I get? Here is the number one reason that most agents don't get the listing signed at the appointment. And by the way, it's the number one reason most agents don't get the listing at all. And it's simply this, because you have the wrong goal. It's really the reason. Your goal's wrong. You have the wrong goal. Now, what is the goal of a listing presentation? What is your ultimate listing presentation goal? And I ask agents that all the time. And here is, if I were to ask you, what is the goal of a listing presentation? Why do you do it? What is the goal of, to do it? And I bet your answer would be the answer of 99% of all the agents out there, which is the goal of the listing presentation is to get a listing, duh. And I believe that's the wrong goal. Now, is that a bad goal? No, it's not a bad goal. Do you want the listing? Yes, you want the listing. But it's the wrong goal. What's the shift? What if we changed the way we approached the listing presentation? What if you changed the goal? What if you changed your motivation about how you approach it? You see, here's what I believe, and this is, and when I discovered this, it was a minor shift. It really doesn't, in a sense, it doesn't change what you do. It changes how you do it because it changes why you do it. Now, I just want you to think about this. People don't buy you because of what you do. They buy you because of why you do it. And that was what Simon, something that Simon Sinek taught us in his book, The Power of Why. And that is that people don't care about what you do as much as they care about why you do it. And I think this is the shift with your listing presentation and changing the goal of the listing presentation. What if you change the goal of your listing presentation from getting the listing to this? And this is it. And I want you to write this down. I hope you've got a piece of paper out because this is so critical. Why do I go on a listing presentation? What is the goal? What is the motivation? And this is it. You ready? The goal of a listing presentation is to lead the seller to a decision. That's the goal. Right there is the goal to lead the seller to a decision. What if that was your goal? What if your goal was no longer to go get the listing? Now, again, does that mean that's not a good goal? Does that mean I don't want, no, it doesn't mean you don't want the listing. It doesn't mean that you, your intention is not to get a listing. It simply means that my motivation for going on a listing presentation is not to get the listing. It is to lead the seller to a decision, and this is important, that is in their best interest. Now, what does that mean? What it means is, is I am no longer showing up for me. See, here's the, here's the shift, and this is it's so critical. When you think about people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. Well, I list and sell homes. That's what you do, right? I list and sell homes. That is the action you do. But what if I help people move who want to move? That's what I do. And what shifts is I li take listings and I sell them. It makes it about you. If your goal is to get a listing, that is a 100% self-serving goal. If your goal is to get a listing, there's not a seller out there that enjoys listing their house. They want to move, not list, right? So if I change my fo focus from what I want, which is to get a listing, to what they want, which is to move, now my goal is to lead them to a decision that will help them move, that will help them get what they want, which is they want to get, say, let's say they want to get down to San Diego to be closer to their kids and grandkids. 
That's their goal. That's what they want. So my goal is to lead them to a decision that will help them get to San Diego to be closer to their kids and grandkids as soon as possible. That's the goal. When you shift that motivation, I'm going to tell you it totally shifts. And here's why. You go like, how does this work? How do you, how do, you do that? I mean, uh, if I go to lead them to a decision, how do you do that? Well, here's the reason this works so powerfully. And I've been training this now for intentionally this way for probably a couple of years with my coaching members and people that come to my training. And what I've discovered is one, they're taking a lot more listings and two, they get them all sold and they get way less resistance from their sellers. And I'm not talking about just at the listing appointment or listing agreement. I'm talking about throughout the entire process because the sellers can tell when you're more interested in what they want than you are in what you want. My goal is to lead them into a decision that is in their best interest. Now, how does that work? Well, there's three steps that make this foolproof. There's three steps that will that cause this to lead them to a decision to hire you when you go out, which will get you this listing signature at the appointment. And there's three steps. Now I want you to stay with me on this. This is really important. Number one is you pre-qualify them. You pre-qualify them. Now if you have my book of yes, uh, in here is the seller sheet, which is the pre-qualifying script. You can also go to my website at yesmasters.com and you can get a free download of my top scripts from the book of yes that includes uh, not only the pre-qualifying script, it also includes my listing presentation, which I'll, I'm going to mention in a second about part of it and why it works, it, it, it tr how it leverages the strategy of being more interested in the seller than you are in yourself. More interested in what they want than I am what I want. So number one, I pre-qualify them, which means I'm going to ask them the questions that I need to, to they give me the information I need to know what is in their best interest. And here's what I'm looking for. Are they really motivated or not? The goal is to take a, to, for it to be a motivated seller. If, it's not a, if they're not motivated, if they don't want to move, then don't do a listing presentation. The purpose of a listing presentation is not to show them how great you are. It's not to convince them. It's not to impress them. It is to lead them to a decision that will help them get where they want to be, which in this case is San Diego to be closer to their kids and grandkids, right? Don't forget motivation. Now, I know that because I pre-qualify them and the seller sheet gives you all the questions to ask them to do several things. One, to find out what's important to them, to find out their motivation. And two, it helps you identify what are the objections that they're going to have? What are the considerations, the things that stand between them and a decision to make this move and to hire you to help them? All right. So number one, pre-qualify them. The second step is be the best agent to help them get the job done. That's your, that is your second responsibility is to be the best, to be the best agent. I mean, do you think if, they're, if they want to sell their home and take their equity and go to San Diego, do you think they want a t the 10th best agent out there? Do they, they want a mediocre agent or do they want the best one? If you ask any seller, do you want the best agent that can get you the best results or do you, are you okay with just any, any other, any agent? They want the best one. They just don't know how to identify it. You be the best one. Now, when you're the best, when you're the best agent that they're talking to, that they're going to talk to, it's a lot easier to lead them to a decision, right? Now you go like, well, I'm new or I'm not, you know, I'm, I mean, I know I'm not the best. If I'm going to be honest, it's, this is not because you say you're the best. I'm talking about genuinely being the best. If you're not the best, what do you do? Commit, commit to become the best. Commit. I'm going to do whatever it takes. I'm going to get the training. I'm going to get the coach. I'm going to get whatever I need, I need to become the best. I'm going to create, I'm going to develop the track record of the best in the industry. And I'm not kidding. I think that should be every single agent's commitment because that's what every single seller that you meet with, that's what they deserve and that's what they want. And if you would raise the bar for yourself. Now this is, listen guys, this what I'm telling you right now, this is not for most agents. Most agents, if they get this far in this video, they're going to go like, oh, whatever. Because they're, they're, they know they're not willing to commit. They're not willing to pay the price. They're not willing to do the work required to actually become one of the best in the world. That's what I challenge you to do. Why would you? You're, look, if you're going to do this, why would you do it mediocre? Why would you be okay being so-so? just doesn't make any sense to me 
be, commit to be the best. And that way, when you show up and their question is going like, so we want to move, is this the best agent to help us get there? Is this the best agent that can get us the best result? Which, if you've seen one of my other videos, it is the number one unanswered, unasked question that every seller has. It is their number one question. Are you the best agent to get me the best result? Well, if I commit to become the best and I start showing up that way every day and I start working that way, it's going to start showing up in your conversations. It's going to start showing up in your prospecting, in your lead follow-up, in your pre-qualifying conversation. And when you show up at the door, you may, you may inside know, you know, I don't think I'm the best yet, but I am on that journey. And that knowledge, that self-awareness, that self-knowledge that you are that committed to serving them and to getting them a great result it will show up in the way you show up. When you walk in the door, they can feel it. They can tell that this, this, this agent is serious. They're not just messing around. They're here for me and they are prepared. I'm telling you, that is a game changer. It makes you a game changer. And then the third thing is be more interested in them than you are in what you want. Be more interested in them and what they want than what you want, which simply means I'm not here to get a listing. In fact, I wanted to share with you, if you've got a copy of my book of yes, or if you've downloaded at yesmasters.com the, the top scripts from the book of yes, one of the scripts that you're gonna get is the listing presentation. And it is the best listing presentation ever created for a simple reason, and it is because it is the best at leading sellers to a decision in a way that serves their best interest, not just you. It's about them, it's not about me. And that's my whole approach, and if you've read the book of Yes, you know that's my whole approach to business, is that when I train as a real estate speaker, as a real estate coach, when I, when I train, I do co courses, coaching programs, it's not about me, it's not about how can I convince you to hire me, it's about how can I help you become the best. When you show up that way, if you approach your business and you walk in to a conversation, you go into a conversation with a seller and your number one goal is to serve their best interest and to lead them to a decision that's good for them, that's right for what they want to do instead of what you want. They can tell it. I mean, can't you tell whenever, whenever you talk to somebody after a while and, you, and, and if all they're interested in is what they want, if they're just interested in themselves, it, you can tell, right? There's a different vibe. There's a different look in their eyes when somebody it's just all about them. It's just all about me. When it's all about them, they are slick and they're salesy. And if you're if you're out, if you, let's say you're looking for romance, and if you're a gal, gals, I know you'll relate to this. If you're a lady watching this, and guys, you need to know this. If not, if you're a gal and and you meet a guy and he's super good looking, he's super nice. But all he cares about is he just wants to get lucky. He just wants to get you to get, he just wants a one night stand. That's all he cares about. You can tell. Now you may not be able to tell in the first moment, but you can tell as the conversation goes forward that this guy, he's just looking out for himself. All he wants is something for him. And he can be smooth and he can be, you know, debonair and, and all of that kind of stuff. But there's a different vibe when somebody is in it for themselves. People don't, as, as Simon Sinek says, people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. They don't buy you because you're a great agent. They buy you because you're an agent that's there to serve them. And one of the things in, this, in the listing presentation, in the very first part of the listing presentation, is you're talking to the seller, you're connecting with them. You've already talked to them on the phone. You've already pre-qualified them. That was the first step. And now you're sitting there with them. And one of the things that you say, and this is on page 69 of the book of Yes, if you have a copy of the book, it's number seven on the listing presentation. And I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but it just says this. My goal is to help you get what you want. And if I can't help you, I'll tell you today. Because I'm not interested in just getting a listing. I'm very interested in helping you guys get down to San Diego to be closer to your kids and grandkids before summer. Because that's what you want, right? Then we're on the same page. That's the conversation. I'm not interested in just getting a listing. I'm very interested in helping you get to blank, whatever their motivation is, because that's what you want, right? And they say, right. Then we're on the same page. Now, here's, here's what, you have to, what you have to embrace about this conversation, this listing presentation. This is not a technique. What I'm, teaching you, what I'm teaching you today, what I'm talking about today is not a technique. If it's a technique, it's fake. It, what I'm talking about is a value. 
The value is I am more interested in their needs and helping them get what they want than I am in getting what I want. What's the difference? The difference is caring. And that is, if, I, if you read this script and use it as a technique and it's really all about you, but you're going to try to technique your way into listings, it will work. It's just not as powerful and it's not going to work as well or as effectively or as often. But when you're committed to them, when it's about them, not about you, when your goal is not to get a listing for you, but it's to help them and lead them to a decision that's in their best interest, everything changes. You know, now look, does that mean you're, you're like I said, does that mean you're not interested in getting a listing? No, because you pre-qualified them. You know they want to move. You know they want to go to San Diego, right? You know they want that. What is the best decision? Well, they want to go to San Diego. They need to sell. Who's the best agent? You are. Why? Because you committed to become the best agent. That's your, that's your place. And because you care more about them than you do about getting the listing, it's impossible for them to say no to you. They're pre-qualified. What's the right decision for them? They're motivated to move. I've given them, they, they have all the information to make a decision. That's what pre-qualifying does at the listing presentation. I'm giving them all the information they need to make that decision so that when I leave, they've already made the decision and they've signed the listing agreement. See, here's what it's about. If you, instead of trying to win the listing, how about winning the client? When you get the relationship, you also get the business. When you pre-qualify them, you know why you're there. When you are the best, they know that you can deliver the best result. And when you care more about them than yourself, it just shows all over. And when you operate that way, just the shift, not what you do, but why you do it, it changes everything. And you can always expect yes. Now, if this video, if you like this video, if it's helpful for you, if this has kind of turned on a light for you, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and really, really encourage you and ask you, share this with other agents that you know, because I really want to get the message out. I think this is so powerful to shift everything that we do.